Hi, my name is Paul Davis, Product Manager for Abu Garcia. I'd like to talk to you today about Revo Shop, our line of accessories and upgrades that you can add to uh, your Revos to trick them out or to make them more functional. Before we get started, I'd like to talk about the tools that we're going to use for replacing both the handles and the EVA knobs that we have available. You'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, 10 millimeter socket, a paper clip, and a penny. And those are the basic tools that you'll need to do uh, any of the parts that we're, we're going to do today. So the parts that we have to offer are uh, in the handles we have uh, the carbon fiber handle. It'll shave some weight off of your reel, kind of give it that cool custom look. We also have an extended bent handle which really helps if you want to get into those situations where you need some extra cranking power and can really uh, can really bear down on some of those uh, hard pulling fish. As far as knobs, we offer them both in the spinning versions as well as the uh, low profile versions. Here's our spinning knob that's, replaced, uh, that's the standard replacement. We offer two in the uh, low profile version, one large and one standard replacement size. To get started, um, I'm going to actually show you how to replace the handle and the knobs on this Revo SX. And it's pretty easy. To get started, I'll take my flat screwdriver and remove the uh, retaining nut that holds the uh, nut retainer in place. So slide that in, back off of it a little bit, and use your finger if you can to bring it out the rest of the way. Set that aside. That allows the nut retainer to come off, and now we can remove the nut. Counterclockwise, rotate it if you're using a right-handed reel, and it will come off. And now you have access to your handle. If you're using a left-handed reel, you'll actually need to rotate that nut clockwise because it is a reverse thread. Now that you've got your handle off, Make sure that your washer is still on the, uh, the main part of the handle. And we're going to put this carbon fiber handle on. So just slide it into place, like so. Take your handle nut and carefully rotate it into place. Hand tighten it. That's what it'll look like. Come back with your 10 millimeter socket and tighten it down. Take your nut retainer, put it in place, take your nut retainer screw, and make sure it lines up. You may have to adjust it with your wrench until it gets just right. Rotate it into place with your finger, and you can drive it home with your screwdriver. And that's how you replace the handle. So if you didn't want to change your uh, knobs, you can just simply take your old knobs off. I'm going to show you how to do that now. Use your paper clip, pop these covers off like so. And that gives you access to your, your screws inside of here that hold the paddles on. Back those out. You can remove both the handles. For sake of demonstration, I'll just remove one. And they are a direct fit and they slide right back on. Look down into the, the uh, hole area, make sure that the bearing is seated correctly, that everything is flush. Take the screw, put it on the end of your, your screwdriver, and send it home. Once that's in place, you shouldn't have any uh, more sliding than what I'm showing you right here. Take your cap, replace it, and do the exact same thing for the other knob. If you are changing out and need to add your EVA knobs, pop this off. It's a little bit of an extra step, so 
We're back to square one. Inside of these knobs, there are either going to be two bushings or two bearings. In this case, there's actually two bearings and we need to take those out. So I'm going to use either a small screwdriver or you can use your paper clip again. It's a little bit difficult, but they will come out. And a push method kind of works a little bit better than, than trying to pull them. So that's what we're left with now. Take our replacement EVA knobs. We're going to slide that bearing into the bottom. And again, if you have a bushing, it's going to be the same process. Slide the other bearing into the top. Use your paper clip or small screwdriver just to kind of set it in there correctly. And then we're going to slide it onto the post, like so. When you slide it onto the post, you may notice that the uh, top bearing pushes up a little bit. Use your tools. Just kind of push it into place. until it's flush with the post. Replace your screw. Send it on home and you're done. Each of the uh, packages for each of the kits come with a uh, cap as well as the, uh, as the EVA knob. So just take your finger, hold it and you can rotate the knob so it actually threads the cap in once it's in place. Finish tightening down the cap on your EVA knob and you're finished. You'll repeat the same process on the other side and if you have a spinning reel the same applies for the install of the knobs here. And that's it. So check out abugarcia.com forward slash revo for more information.